So what we're gonna do now in this video is really focus on some advanced concepts. With this being said, we're gonna take the basic jab and expand on that. How do you advance that? Take a basic cross, how do you advance that? Essentially, we're gonna be going into some Superman punches and exploding in. Um, a little hindsight behind the uh, Superman jab and the Superman cross is that it's very dynamic, it's very athletic and explosive. So if you have somebody that's running away from you or that's super young and can really just like go backwards at a fast pace, this is something that would work very well. It's just the idea behind it is a little more complicated and that you're using your leg in conjunction with your arm to propel yourself forward. With that being said, pay attention to the footwork. Throughout this uh, course, we're not gonna be doing the same footwork in terms of stepping. Remember, with a step, we keep the same leg forward. Whenever we shift, we're gonna be changing our stance for a period of time. Pay attention to the subtle changes within this video. I hope you sit back and enjoy it. Here we go. So right now we're gonna start out with a Superman jab into a low kick. So my partner's working his feints. Again, we have to practice our feints to get good at them or else they're just gonna look goofy and stiff. So Superman jab into a low kick. You are the feeder, you are leading this drill. Make sure that the timing of your feeds. Now it's your partner's turn. Notice how much ground I'm able to cover within this strike. Now we're going to go Superman cross, inside leg kick. There you go, nice leg kick. <laughs> this is probably the most explosive punch that you could do. Notice how much ground that he could gain when he's throwing this strike. Using my footwork, he's using his feints. Three and three. Good, so now we're gonna focus on shifting. This is gonna be a little bit different. So my partner's gonna go jab, basic jab, step through cross, freeze. Now we have just shifted our stance. The deal with this is that if you don't practice this stance as much as your other orthodox stance, it's going to lack in power and speed. So you don't wanna stay here for too long. So jab, cross, now we're just gonna do a, throw a basic body kick with the back leg. And now he resets back into orthodox. So jab, step through cross. We're changing the angle of attack. Using his feints, getting a sense of my reaction. I have to step back on that feed or else I'm just gonna be met with a knee right here. So my partner's gonna be feeding for me. Good, now we're gonna advance it. So my partner's gonna throw a jab cross hook. I'm gonna kick the low leg, low kick, and then my partner goes and kicks me. This is more advanced because you're evading it, you're not blocking it, you're not absorbing impact. So jab cross hook, evades, low kick. Jab cross hook, evades, low kick. One more time, jab cross hook, Evades, low kick. 100 feet for me. So within these different drills, you can switch up your stance, you could shift, you could use all of your different, different steps, your stepping, 
And remember, the difference between that is keeping your same leg forward versus a shift and that you're changing your stance. The whole time you're doing this, I want you working on your feints and getting reps while you're just standing there. So I don't want you to wait on your partner like this. You're a sitting target. I want you moving, fainting, a low faint, a high faint with a jab, moving your head, keeping your head offline, in conjunction with whatever advanced or basic Dutch kickboxing combination you are using. Thank you, sir. See you in the next clip.